Hey everyone, this is Grant with Digital Dream Labs, and uh, we're very excited to start rolling out these Oscar images. That's the open source kit for robotics, where we provide unprecedented access to the internals of a uh, consumer grade robot, in this case, a vector. And to do this, we need to create a unlock image to allow a user to be able to access the internals of their phone. For that, the first step is that we need to be provided with the internal serial number on the robot so that we can make an image that matches that unique serial number and only works on that unique robot. Uh, the process I think is pretty straightforward, but I thought it might be nice to make a video uh, to help people out and help people follow along. So the first thing we want to do is uh, get a vector. In this case, we've uh, got one sitting here that uh, is just uh, doing its thing, chilling out, and we put it in the pairing mode, right? We press twice and we get the serial number screen. And now that we've done that, we actually want to go in a Chrome web browser. It's very important to use Chrome. Um, it's the only one that seems to support the Bluetooth low energy protocol we use to talk to the robot. Uh, people have showed us matrices that say other browsers work, but in our experience, uh, if you want to be sure, it's just easiest to use Chrome. I'm not even a Chrome fan. I use Firefox, but in this case, uh, that's the way things go. So you want to go to vector-setup.ddl.io and uh, we'll get a screen here, uh, pair with vector. And we select it and it asks for the code which uh, pops up on the screen over here on vector. Uh, so we go ahead and type that in. Nine three one zero oh, nine nine, and we enter the pin to pair. Now at this point, uh, this is a reset vector. It's trying to connect to the network, but we don't care about any of that at the moment. All we care about is downloading logs. Um, on some ways you install, you may need to log in for this to appear, but you basically want to follow the setup until we get to this thing where we can download logs up in the upper right hand corner. And then we just click on that link. And it uses Bluetooth to download logs directly from the robot uh, to your computer without being configured on Wi-Fi yet. This is a security measure. Some of these logs have sensitive information, so uh, they make it uh, so that you need to be in the same room as the robot to get the logs. And it seems we've downloaded them, so now we just go ahead. It produces a file here. We just want to open the file up. And in uh, my case, it goes ahead and just extracts things automatically. Um, you may need to set up things on your computer to get a bz2 file to open and so now we've got this file here and it's created a bunch of things and expanded that and you can go through if you want and see all kinds of interesting things but what we care about is from the unzipped file as we started here a bunch of things came out and we want to look at this file log one it's just a simple text file so we can go ahead and open it and then right here is both the QSN, the internal serial number, and the ESN, the external serial number. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to copy that line and save it. And that is the information that uh, you will need to get to Digital Dream Labs so that we can build a custom image for you and, and get it your way. And um, I think that's all there is to it. Um, there is a reference manual on the web, oscar, O-S-K-R dot D-D-L dot I-O that covers this step-by-step -step in a text format. So you can also look there if you would prefer to have a guide where you can uh, read along and walk along. All right, uh, thanks. And I'm really looking forward to getting these uh, Oscar units out there and seeing what all kinds of crazy stuff people can do with these robots.